Some dog behaviours can be curious but uncomfortable. Without doubt, one of the oddest is the habit of humping people, animals or objects. In this Animal Wise video, we explain the main reasons why a dog is humping and what we can do about it. Stress or boredom. A dog that lives a sedentary routine or lives in a negative environment can easily develop symptoms of boredom or stress. If we don't provide the opportunity for walking and positive experiences where your dog expends energy, they may hump to release accumulated tension. Discover other consequences of not taking a dog for a walk in the video that we share here. For this reason, we advise you to increase the frequency or duration of their walks and enrich their environment to provide positive and appropriate ways to entertain themselves. Excitement and anxiety. These are another of the most common causes of a dog mounting other people. A very excited dog or one suffering anxiety in a given situation may try to ride the people closest to them as a way to manage their emotions. As in the previous case, this can indicate the dog is suffering an emotional conflict which also generates stress. Again, the dog is looking for a way to release this tension, anxiety or excitement. When visitors enter the home, they can feel very excited and use the behaviour to attract attention. Also, inappropriate punishments can generate anxiety in dogs which leads to humping behaviour. Discovery and sexual self-stimulation Dog sexuality continues to be taboo in our society. It's still often thought that sex in animals only occurs for reproductive purposes, which is an unhelpful perception. Dogs can also self-stimulate themselves sexually for both pleasure and relief. It's a pure and spontaneous expression of the sexual behaviour of their species, something they do when they discover their body during sexual maturity. If a dog humps another dog or even their guardian's leg, they may be seeking sexual relief. They may be growing up and wanting to explore sexual impulses, an essential part of healthy physical and emotional development. Sign of disease. In some cases, the humping behaviour may appear suddenly and can be repeated excessively. The dog may want to mount practically any object, animal or person in their environment. Hormonal problems and autoimmune diseases create conditions often associated with this behaviour. The dog may also be repeating this exaggerated behaviour as a way to relieve pain caused by urinary tract infections or bone disorders such as hip dysplasia. It's essential we take the dog to a veterinarian if this behaviour suggests it is a symptom of disease. Socialisation problem. A dog may also want to hump their guardian or other animals as a result of poor socialisation, leading them to assimilate this behaviour as an appropriate way to interact. This problem can occur in animals with a history of physical or emotional abuse. For this reason, if you have recently adopted a dog, it's important to consider the development of behavioural problems related to their past. Some dogs mistakenly assimilate humping behaviour as a game, using it when they want to play with their tutor or other animals. Mounting can also appear during a very active play session or in situations that overstimulate them, especially in puppies and younger dogs. Stereotypy. If your dog wants to hump you, animals or objects in a compulsive way, you may be witnessing a stereotypy. This is a serious behavioural problem similar to OCD in humans. It can even lead to self-mutilation due to the incessant repetition of certain behaviours. Stereotypies usually appear when animal welfare is already compromised or when they have a history of abuse. For this reason, if you observe any strange behaviour, don't hesitate to seek the help of a canine ethologist. What should you do if your dog humps you? To know how to deal with this behaviour, you will need to identify its cause. We advise you first to take them to the vet to rule out any health problems. Once possible pathological causes have been ruled out, you will need to pay attention to the routine you provide your dog, especially those affecting physical activity and mental stimulation. In the video that we leave here, we provide 5 ways to reduce stress in dogs. Similarly, if you observe this habit is present in an intense way or generates problems with coexistence, we recommend you seek the professional help of an ethologist or canine educator. Scolding your dog for trying to hump you is not the solution. As we always say, the most important thing is to identify the cause of the problem to treat it with the help of professionals. Tell us, have you observed this behaviour in your dog? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.